What I really enjoy about racing is working with a bunch of guys and trying to figure out a better mouse trail. That was the part that I loved about the stock car thing. I knew when I started it, I told myself, this is probably impossible. And that little voice told me, Lake, you do today what you can do today, and you let me take care of the rest. I never look back. The first time I heard Lake Speed, I went, what a cool name for a race car driver. Where did the name Lake come from? My dad named after my dad's two best friends that never had kids, Bob Lake and Paul Chambers. That's where it came from. I read where you started racing carts about age 13. In 1978, you won the Karting World Championship, and one of the drivers you had to beat was a future three-time Formula One champion, Ayrton Senna. Nobody from America had been in many, many years when I first went over there. I'm the, still the only non-European that's ever won the senior division. From carts to the top series of NASCAR, that, that's skipping a lot of rungs in the ladder. Maybe I could do this in <laughs> professional race, and that was really part of what spurred me on to saying, well, I'm 30 years old. If I'm gonna do something, I better get on with it right yeah. now. And I don't have time to play around. Right. I just need to shoot for the moon. So that's what we did. 1985, y'all went to the Daytona 500. There's Lake Speed right there in the second position. And you finished second to Bill Elliott in the Daytona 500. And Lake, the one thing that, that resonates with me, I don't know that I've ever seen an interview so emotional a little voice came to me. They said, I told you I'd take care of this. The emotion came when Mike Joy stuck that microphone in my face and said, what does this mean to you? I mean, it all came together in a strange way. At the last second, I mean, like sponsorship nationwide, automotive parts came on with us last night. And it's been, you know, we've just been dragging out, had to have faith and just hold on the whole time. But, And uh, I've never been the same again. Fifth race of 1988. Toughest place we go to, Darlington, South Carolina. Lake Speed is in command of the Trans South 500. Six miles to go for Lake Speed. Look at the nail biting going on. <laughs> Nobody's sitting down, that's for sure. Here's the checkered flag. Lake Speed wins the Trans South 500. You are a cup race winner. What did that mean to Lake Speed? The stress level went whew. <laughs> You felt like the weight of the world had gone. I did, I did. I said, finally, my goodness. Everything I've gone through, the struggles, the stress, the heartbreak, the everything that happened, I said, finally, I got there. I've thought about this all my life, you know, what are you gonna do when you finally won? In my case, it was my faith in the Lord that brought, brought me through this because if it hadn't been for that, 1986, I'd have packed it up and head back to Mississippi. Whew. Lake, your faith is amazing. God's got a perfect plan for everybody. We might not always like it the way it is, but I know it's the best one. I just tickled to death he threw me a bone, and the bone he threw me was dark. You could only win one. That's the one you'd want to win. Broke one of them at 83, leading the race with everybody a lap down set one. 88, Daytona 500, we leading the race when that snapped off the front of the crank. Leading the race at Darlington, the last restart of the race, that sucker went through the tire, right front tire. Oh, gosh. Every once in a while I go back and I say, really? I think I really could have had five wins. Pretty easy, you know, just parts. What do you want Lake Speed's legacy to be? What do you want race fans to remember you for? I've been given a very unusual platform. Karting was my background. I still have an affinity for it. What I'm trying to do as a 70-year-old out at the go-kart track is to inspire some other people and to mentor some of these young guys. 
what I'm after more than anything from not just race fans, from anybody, is just say he's a man after God's heart.